Right, so, uh, well, you can buy just about anything on eBay, of course, but one recent purchase on the site is raising eyebrows and raising questions about election security. That's because the item is an election machine that went missing in northern Michigan. Well, that's got the attention of Michigan's Secretary of State. Grant Herms is live with more on the odd journey this machine has taken, Grant. Well, Kimberly, this went missing from northern Michigan, then to be found in a Goodwill in Cadillac. It was then sold to an Uber driver from Ohio who bought it for eight bucks, and then he flipped it on eBay for $1,200. Now, this is more than just a story about the bazaar. It is the latest in a series of stories about election machines from Michigan, possibly illegally gotten during one of the most contentious election seasons we've ever seen. The listing was for this machine, a Dominion voting machine. The description, own a piece of American history. The lucky buyer, Harry Husty, an election security expert in Connecticut. Where is it right now? Uh, it's here in my living room. Is it still in the box? It's still in the box. Once he bought it off a listing just like these, Hursty called the Secretary of State's office in Michigan, but he still has it. Asked to hold on to it while a formal criminal investigation is now underway. It's still in the box because they asked me to not open it. The machine, though, not something that could be used to hack an election. What it really does is help people with disabilities vote. But just the fact that someone could sell it online raises questions about security in between elections. The real story here is it doesn't matter whether it was stolen or whether it was lost. They didn't know about it until we conducted. It took them a week to figure out. That means that the chain of custody management, inventory management is broken. And former Detroit Elections Chief Chris Thomas, who worked in dozens of elections, agrees. And I think it's going to now beg either by the Secretary of State or the legislature to set security standards. Now, Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson did release a statement about launching that formal investigation. She said, in part, while our elections remain secure and safe, we take seriously all violations of election law and will be working with relevant authorities to ensure there are consequences for those who break the law. And Kimberly, so far, Husty says he has not been contacted by law enforcement. Yeah, but We're live in Detroit. Grant Herms, Local 4. Still so many questions about security. That's mm -hmm. just incredible. Okay, Grant, thanks.